Hello YouTube. So I'm back on my uh, back on my weekday grind. It's 6:30 p.m. Sunday, May 22nd, uh, 2022, and uh, so let's see. The date would be 5:22:22. That would look like like dyslexic confusion if I was write it down. Anyway, um. I'm crossing my fingers that my car does a, a little bit better on the drive this week than it did the week before and the week before that. It's, uh, seems like I'm going on two, coming off two Sundays in a row of my car shitting itself on the way to work on a Sunday. And, uh, Beyond the, the obvious fact of wow that sucks, um, I uh, I um, and I don't even know at this point what I uh, what I owe my mechanic. Although and and this is kind of a bad attitude on my part, but I'm just after taking seven and a half months to um, get the car fixed the the first time I'm. I'm not prioritizing him with money as much as I normally do. Now, granted, part of that is just just where I'm at, you know, money-wise, with the month, and and you know, it's it's the end of the month. My first priority right now is making sure I got next month's rent. Oh yeah, nothing like the American tradition of living uh, paycheck to paycheck and hoping to God you can pay your rent. Uh, but but yeah, I'm I'm there with that and. Uh, and, and still recovering from that that six month insurance payment, but um, that that payment only comes every six months, and uh, I um, yeah, so I got I got I should be recovered by that you know next month. Um, as for uh, in fact by like the first week of next month. Looks like that guy's getting ready to make a U-turn right there at the no U-turn sign. Which, is it, oh, no, he managed to get that U-turn in before I did. Nope, cut, cut off through traffic before I did. I didn't cut off through traffic. Oh well. What can you do? Sometimes the, uh, sometimes the cheaters do win. Not like it makes a big difference, but he's like 15 seconds ahead of me. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. It usually gives me a little bit of satisfaction that most of the time that happens, where I make the, the U-turn where it's legally marked U-turn okay, and the other person makes the U-turn where it says no U-turn. Um, usually that person gets, gets stuck in traffic, and I'm able to make the U-turn in the first gap in traffic. Oh, shit, I'm already stuck behind this fool. 35 getting on the loop 202. That's fucking brilliant, dude. Why are you riding your brakes? Why are we why are you trying to make us both into a traffic hazard here? Ooh, Brandy. to learn another one of these like really really popular with my Bullock's crowd type uh, female R&B songs where I can kind of find my own place with it. Uh, for a while there I was singing Mary J. Blige um, her song Real Love and, 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 and doing well with it. I was getting a good crowd response with that. But try not to keep repeating the same shit because that gets old quick. But um, I, think, I think I could do good with this one throwing that out there um now of course me singing real love that that kind of comes from being a big fan of uh, soul coughing and mike Toady uh, on his first solo outing skittish he did a, uh, did a medley of um real love and the only answer and so of course that's kind of in my head that's kind of where i'm coming from when, when i sing it but I highly doubt any of the people that are at my karaoke show know that. So, the people who are big fans of Mike Doty are pretty few and far between. Uh, on 
from that, you know, as much as I enjoy listening to the radio in the car, I don't want to give me another CD player out there. Now that I'm doing anything along the lines of uh, long drives, uh, gas, gas prices here in Phoenix did another jump uh, over the last two, three days. Uh, I did notice last night as I was on my way to uh, Speedy Burrito after uh, after I left the Wander Inn, um, I noticed that uh, it was... I forget exactly what the price was, but it was over 210 again, or sorry, over 210. I wish. Uh, it was over 510 a gallon at the Circle K there at 40th Street and um, El Brain Fart, uh, 40th Street and McDowell. Oh, which reminds me, I did not get my seven save drink today. I don't know if I mentioned it on, on any of my recent vlogs. I, I don't think I have. Uh, I, I might have. No, I definitely mentioned it. I do remember mentioning it. Uh, I renewed my Circle K Sip and Save. I had stopped renewing that a while after I, I blew the engine on this car. Just because I found that all too often I was transferring buses at corners that didn't have Circle Ks. And it was just too out of the way to walk to a Circle K. with a lot of the, the routes I was doing. And then the other issue being that you're not allowed to bring a fountain drink, at least not in a, not in a, uh, you know, regular fountain drink cup on a bus. So yeah, having a subscription for free fountain drinks suddenly was kind of, kind of useless to me as a bus rider. And now that I'm back to driving, I just, haven't put it, haven't got get, got that into my daily routine of ooh got to swing by some cake get my free drink. Um, but I will. Um, yeah, so didn't really do much this weekend. That's why there weren't very many videos. Just uh, a couple nights of karaoke with Kimmy at uh, at Wander Inn, which was a blast. Um, I mean, it's not much of a crowd there. And, and, the odds of me meeting, meeting some strangers there are pretty slim to none. Uh, and the reason for that is twofold. I mean, one, it, it's it's kind of an older crowd there, and most everybody's there with their significant others. So, so you know, not, not many single women there to be met. And then pretty much everybody there just kind of assumes that, that Priscilla and I are a thing, because whenever she's there, where she puts on a big show of, you know, being all... Physically, you know, being all still physically intimate with me, and of course, that's that act is over you know, by the time we get home. But, um, but I still have a good time here. I really enjoy. Uh, I really enjoy the way Kimmy does karaoke. The sound there is usually always very on point. Uh, and, and the bartender Lorraine is uh, pretty much awesome. Pretty much awesome. Um, I wish they had better food, but you know, I just kind of that just kind of is what it is, and I should make an effort to eat before I go there more often. Yeah, with gas prices all being what they are, I'm kind of trying to make an effort to drive drive a whole lot less. Uh, kind of debating as to whether tomorrow I want to do the uh, do the do the thing where I park downtown and take the express bus to work, or, or just keep driving like I'm doing. Um, I was really leaning heavily towards doing that just because the I found such a good place to park on uh, Tuesday night and then Wednesday morning. The, the, the ride home from work was super pleasant Wednesday morning. And I got home, I want to say three, first three, no, God, I'm just, me and numbers today are just not, not good. Uh, got home 
well, not sure what time I got home. I've been doing the doing the breakfast of QT in the morning. They're 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 uh, scrambled eggs with bacon and cheese for three bucks. It's kind of hard to beat. Um, and it always seems to hit the spot for me. Um, yeah, that's one thing. That's one thing kind of about me that that that, that might strike a lot of people is he's painfully boring and and. Uh, and, and from a lot of things I'm reading is a is a sign of autism, but whatever. Um, yeah, I find something like food wise that I'm comfortable with. I'll I'll eat the same damn thing like every day for days and days in a row. Like like more often than not, I just rather get what I like that I know I like and I'm comfortable with and just checks all the boxes than try to think of what I would like. Um, and I do like that um, that, that, that Jazzy, who I, I still haven't, I, I'm still not sure whether she's whether whether she's flirting with me and, and waiting for me to make more moves, or, or whether I've just been completely friend zone and she just really really likes me as a friend. I, I'm I never I never get those signals right. <laughs> so, so I'm just, I'm just, I'm just being friendly, but uh, she, she um, I don't think I mentioned this yet. She, she really made my night on, on Thursday uh, at my karaoke show. Um, yeah, I, I didn't have time to get food on the way to the bar, and I went to. Uh, Sorry, I thought I heard a funny noise coming from the car. It's it's Sunday going to Amazon. I'm just waiting for something to go wrong with the car. Um, yeah, she... Um, no, when I got there... I don't think she was there when I... No, she was definitely there when I got there. Anyway, when I got there, um, the bartender, Bree, had asked me you know, if I wanted to, to order food right then, which I've, I've been trying to do that pretty much on the regular lately because by the time the show gets started, like... I'm too busy to go and get food, and then by the time I got the show in such a, you know, in, in a, in going to a point where I can break away from running sound and, and, and running the computer, running the show, by then the bartenders are too busy to get me food. Um, and once upon a time, and I'm talking mostly pre-pandemic. Um, although she used to do a little bit uh, shortly after the, uh, the short-lived shows I had after the pandemic. Um, one thing Priscilla used to do for me, which was really, really appreciated, and maybe I didn't tell her enough that I appreciate it. It's possible. I suck like that. Um, she would, uh, you know, she would understand the fact that the bartender's busy, understand the fact that I'm busy, and, and, and that a gap of both of us not being busy was really likely to not happen all night, which was likely to result in me not eating all night. Um, and she used to be really good about you know, realizing when I was hungry and, and just going and, and, and or, or just being cognizant of the fact that, hey, Dan is not eating. 24 hours. I should go get him food because he's not going to remember to eat. And well, this song plays like every day, like clockwork on the station. I'm not going to complain because I love it. But up in here, up in here. <laughs> I I did this song on Thursday, by the way. Um, yeah, got the chorus, kind of fell apart on some of the verses. Uh, DMX got a crazy ass rhythm. That's all I got to say about that. Uh, I'm gonna actually have to get this to where I'm intently listening to it every day again before I uh, try to do it karaoke again. Uh, anyway, yeah, so Priscilla used to be pretty good at realizing that I hadn't had ate and needed to eat, and I think I just passed the 75th Avenue exit. I sure did. Whoops. Whoops, I need to pay more attention to where I'm going when I'm driving. Hey, we're back to like the old vlogs before the car broke down. <laughs> where am I driving? Oh yeah, that place that I passed the exit two, three exits ago. Whoopsie. Um, this is fine. I got five, 15 minutes till I got a clock in anyway. I got plenty of time. Um, 
anyway, yeah, so, so Bri had asked if I wanted food, and I'm pretty sure I told her what I wanted. But I, I know we were talking about some other stuff, so probably both of us got distracted. I, I'm not even 100% sure that I told her my order, to be completely honest. But anyway, it seemed like after midnight or around midnight that I realized, hey, I never did get my food. And by then I was like hungry, like, like hunger pains, um, stomach having digestive issues, um, and just overall feeling like, hey, I'm going to try to go to Burger King and see if I got enough time to get to, uh, two chicken, do the two for six dollar chicken sandwich thing. I got, I got 14 minutes, so as long as there's not a line around the building, I should be all right. Of course, I tried to do this, I forget what day, um, last week, I'll say Wednesday, Wednesday evening, tried to go to Wendy's and, and yeah, it had a big long line around the building. It wasn't even, and I think I had less than 14 minutes too, but it became pretty apparent there was no way in hell I was going to get food and, and make it to work on time. Uh, imagine this, this Burger King is a little less busy, plus it's Sunday, not on a weekday, so... Yeah, black cars hauling balls. All right. Oh, I just missed a turn. Whoops. I need to clean this windshield a lot better. Riding into the sun, the amount of just glare I get is not good. Wow, and there's a obstacle that stops me from driving back there. That sucks. I hate parking lots of design like this. I gotta make me drive all this, all this extra just to get where I'm going. What oh, do I get in that drive-through? All right, there's the entrance. Dang, they don't even look open. <laughs> they really don't look open. Hello? Hi, what can I get for you? Oh, good, you guys are open. <laughs> um, want to get, uh, you still doing the two for six chicken sandwiches? Yeah, the original chicken? Yeah. yeah, the original chicken. I want to get those. Two? Yeah. Anything else? No, that'll be it. 62 total. Thank you. Awesome. Thank you. Can't beat that with a stick. It was microwaved pretty well, too. So there's my, my midnight meal as well. Yeah, I need to, I need to cut some corners. Are there not going to be just any corner? Oh, no, I'm good. Thank you. Thank you. I half expect she didn't give me a receipt, but paid cash. Should it look like the right amount of change? Oh, the drive through is kind of cute too. That's a bonus. I would not normally do a left out of here, but I look pretty clear. Time the uh, other streets left arrow so I can make an easy right. Bonus. 
6.50, still plenty of, plenty of time to get to work on time, and, uh, and I got food. Yay. Oh, and a red light at I-10. Whoops. So close, too. Uh, anyway, I was saying, uh, see, I didn't get my food at my show, and... And, and by by midnight, like, I was hungry. And there was something, like, I overheard somebody say something about the, the grill closing soon or something like that. I'm like, fuck, I haven't got my, you know you can't close the, like, I'm not quite sure how I overheard that. Like, I think I walked near the bar, and I overheard it being said to somebody else who was ordering food. And, and I'm like, no, you can't be closing the kitchen. I haven't got my, uh, my, my cheesesteak yet. Um... And then, of course, I'm going up to try to mention that, and I can't seem to get either of the bartender's attention. Actually, if if, if I remember right, I did get Sean's attention. He was like, you're going to have to talk to Bree about that. Of course, Bree's busy as fuck, so thanks, Sean. Um, anyway, I, I... I Yeah, so I go back, you know, go back to where I've got my, my sound stuff set up and back to, you know, working on the show. And mind you, not only I'm busy working on the show, but I'm 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 kind of harvesting karaoke tracks on YouTube, which I don't think is anything I've really explained on this vlog, but and I don't have time to explain it now, but but that that takes up quite a bit of my effort as I'm doing my show. And because I have so little time to, to work on my karaoke music and my karaoke computer, that's something I do gotta stay diligent on doing um, when I'm doing my show. Especially since uh, right at the end of December. Um, karaoke Cloud, which is the channel that kind of came up from the ashes of Chartbuster Karaoke. Um, they put out an unbelievable amount of tracks, like, all at once. And I want to say it took me over... Th it took me maybe three months... Wow, those people are on the wrong side of the double yellow line, and <laughs> those, of course, are all my coworkers. The people are on the wrong side of the double yellow line, making it difficult for me to get to the left turn lane. That's something I also see uh, happen with Phoenix drivers a lot. Really? For practically stopping and keeping me in the intersection on a red left arrow, even though I entered it on a green. Um, yeah, the. Uh, Um, yeah, I've noticed Phoenix drivers often crossing double yellow lines to make left turns, which is something nobody's ever supposed to do, but God, it happens a lot here. Um, I have not come in this way since, I think I've maybe come to Amazon twice this way. Sorry, speed bumps are from hell. This is definitely a private road owned by Amazon. I can tell just by the fact it's got a 10 mile per hour speed limit. Phoenix don't do 10 mile per hour speed limit. Um, and those no parking signs are definitely not City of Phoenix issue. <laughs> Neither are these speed bumps. Um, so, um, gosh, I'm here. I better finish my story. Plus, I got six minutes till I got to get clogged in. Clocked in. Um, oh, what the heck was I going to say? Uh, so anyway, yeah, Jazzy actually came out to talk to me at the... Uh, and at first she was asking about my song. And she's like, her, her, it, but I guess she noticed I was distressed. So bless her for seeing that. I, I think a lot of people don't, don't, just don't pay enough. It's, just take me for granted. Don't pay enough attention to, to notice, notice when I'm... When I look distressed, it's just like, well, are you okay? And, and, uh, I'm just like, I'm hungry. I'm really hungry. It's like, what do you, what do you want? I said, well, I ordered a cheesesteak and I never got it. And then she came back a little later. She's like, well, I said, the girl's closing. We can do a cheesesteak. So, what, you know, what else do you want? I'm like, I don't know. I just want food. I just want to eat. Like, you're asking difficult questions. Like, understand that's the wrong question to ask me. I've already told you I'm hungry. Like, just, don't give me anything you wouldn't eat. We should be good. <laughs> but, uh... 
And, and that exchange took place a couple times before I think it, it clicked that I really don't. Just bring me food. I don't give a fuck what you bring me. Peanut butter and jelly sandwich. I'm, if that's all the cook can whip together, I'm fine with that. Toast. Bring me fucking toast. You know, don't. I just, I'm just hungry. Bring me food. Um, yeah. Um, anyway. Yeah. Uh, I ended up getting like this mixed platter of deep fried probably some of everything that they sell there that's deep fried and uh, and that absolutely hit the spot so um, yeah it was kind of my angel at the end of the night except I didn't go home with her but hey I can dream about that uh, anyway I'm at Amazon I gotta wrap this up thanks for coming with on the drive and uh, yeah coming with on the drive and, and hearing more about my incredibly mundane life.